It's not just the auto sector that this government's policy has had a devastating effect on. It's also the energy sector in Canada. Justin Trudeau plays language politics while jobs bleed from Alberta and Ontario. The Prime Minister held a very important meeting on Wednesday afternoon. At least it was important to him. No, he wasn't consulting with Alberta's Premier Rachel Notley, who just happened to be in town, about the job losses experienced from Alberta in the oil sector. No, he wasn't meeting with Ontario's Premier Doug Ford, who's worried about the 2,600 job losses already announced at GM, the parts manufacturers that have started to announce their own layoffs in anticipation of GM shuttering the Oshawa plant. No, it wasn't about that, and in fact, it wasn't about the economy at all. While Doug Ford was holding an emergency cabinet meeting in Ontario, down at Queen's Park, trying to figure out ways to attract new investment, new jobs to the province, Justin Trudeau was holding a meeting of all the federal party leaders to talk about French language services in Ontario. That's right, federal leaders, including the separatist Quebec-only Bloc Québécois, holding a meeting to talk about French language services in Ontario. See, the Ford government proposed some changes. I won't even call them cuts because they're not. They're putting the French Language Services Commissioner in the much more powerful Ombudsman's Office. That will actually give them more power. They're not going ahead with a French language university that was promised but never funded by Kathleen Wynne, just like the three English universities they came to the same decision on. But never mind, this has become a national issue. We've had an MPP leave caucus over this. Amanda Samard, of course, you've heard all about that. But the Prime Minister's turning it into a national issue. In fact, when he was asked about Alberta jobs by Conservative leader Andrew Scheer in the House of Commons, he responded by denouncing Scheer for not asking him about Ontario's French language services instead. To highlight, Mr. Speaker, the fact that for 14 days now, or 14 days ago, the Conservative government in Ontario slashed Francophone services, and the leader of the opposition hasn't even asked me a question on that. We think it's a very important issue. See, that's what matters to Trudeau. It's not the jobs. It's not talking to Rachel Notley in Alberta. It's not talking to Doug Ford in uh, Ontario. It's language services. It is playing language politics. And here's why. It's very important to know why he's doing this. It's not just a, a French-English thing. This is about winning votes. Justin Trudeau knows that his thin majority, it's not as strong as people think, needs all the seats he can get in Quebec. The Conservatives are on the rise in Quebec. Now, the Liberals think they can use what Doug Ford has done in Ontario against Andrew Scheer. So Scheer's playing defense on this, and Trudeau is playing hardcore offense. To him, this is the only issue that matters. You lost your job, he doesn't care. You won't get your job coming back. You have to move away from the, the town that you've known so well all your life. Doesn't matter to him. He can get jobs by promoting language tensions between Ontario and Quebec, between English and French. And that's what it comes down to. It's all about electoral politics. It's all about power. It's not policy. The NDP and the Conservatives share this much in common. They are acting on principle. And you can agree or disagree with the principle, but the only principle that motivates Liberals is power. Getting power, keeping power. And if Justin Trudeau needs to ignore the needs, the wishes, the wants of thousands upon thousands of unemployed workers in the auto sector and the oil sector so that he can play language politics and get reelected, you're damn sure he's going to do it. Although I have to say once again, shame on him.